addition of vectors generally when you have two vectors to add you must ensure that the vectors follow each other they touch and they follow each other then you draw a third vector to make a triangle and that third vector is the answer which you call the resultant since it's from a triangle it is called a triangle law now it's called the resultant as I said remember when you add two numbers the answer you get is called the sum but when you add two vectors the answer you get is called the resultant all right you need to add vectors in many cases in real life it could be a case where you have two beams that are connected on a bridge and there is force between uh, along the two beams and then you want to know what force is acting you want to calculate what force is acting at the point where they are connected it could be and it could be in construction structural engineering mechanical engineering in electrical engineering it could be a case where you're adding two voltages or two currents that meet at say 120 degrees in a balanced three phase system right so there are several situations in which you have to add vectors um, generally let's say you have two vectors one vector is like this and the other vector I want them to touch the other vector is like this these vectors follow each other good now the answer you get is given by the length the magnitude and the direction of the third vector that closes the triangle called the resultant what direction is the resultant going is it this way or this way should the other arrows on the resultant go like this or should the arrows on the resultant go like this let's see remember the arrow on the resultant must oppose the other two arrows so while you're walking along the vectors you go in this direction follow the arrow turn the corner go in this direction follow the arrow good the following but when you turn this corner and you're ready to walk this way the the arrow and there is and the resultant must oppose you and you show the arrow different uh, you still use a double arrow and the resultant so those are properly added now as to why you really put the arrow and the resultant opposing it could be a case where you have say a table in a room and you are pushing this table in this direction and somebody else is pushing this table in this direction where will the table slide if you are putting if you had put the arrow and the resultant this way imagining that it is going up you are imagining that a table is sliding this way but well, that would make any sense you can see that a table has to slide somewhere in this general direction right yeah, it would have to slide somewhere in this general direction so the arrow must point in the same direction all right now having put these arrows like this suppose the vectors that you got to add were like this how do you add them remember the vectors and the the, the the arrows and the vectors you're adding must follow each other these are not following if you should walk along this vector and then turn the corner to walk along this vector you would be opposed so 
what you need to do is redraw the vectors. This one, let's draw it first. It doesn't matter which one I draw first, but I'm drawing this one first. Then I redraw this. And when I say redraw, remember, you must follow, you must maintain the direction. Same direction and maintain the magnitude, same magnitude. Let's draw this one behind. They must touch. So I draw this one behind. So now the 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 um the vectors are now following. If you walk along this vector, turn the corner, walk along this vector, then they are following. Now the answer, the resultant, is the vector that closes the triangle. And the resultant is opposing the other two. So if you walk along this vector, you follow. Turn the corner and walk along this vector, you're following. But when you go this way, turn the corner and walk along the resultant, you're opposed by the arrows and the resultant. So this vector plus this vector equals this vector. Now, I had drawn this one first and put this vector behind. Let me draw this vector first. If I draw this vector first, then I redraw this one and put it in front. <coughs> you notice know, it's the same situation. All right, so it does make a difference. The resultant would be this and opposing the other two vectors. So it's the same thing. It doesn't matter which one of the vectors you draw first. So <coughs> you added these vectors. Now, in a third case, it could be that one vector goes like this and the other vector goes like this. The vectors are certainly not following each other. They are pulling apart. So in order to add these, what you need to do first is redraw this vector and redraw this one in front so that they follow each other. Alright? So, walking along this vector, let me see if I can draw you. Walking along this vector, good, you're going this way. When you turn the corner and walk along this vector, you're going this way. So, you are following the two vectors. The third vector, called the resultant, is the one that closes the triangle. Now when you turn the corner and you walk along this vector, walking this way, you must be opposed by the arrow on this vector and the resultant. So, and I use a double arrow to show that this is the resultant. These are the two vectors you're adding and this is the resultant. Alright? So, just a quick review. Remember, when you're adding two vectors, the vectors that you add must touch each other and follow. By following, it means you're walking along this vector so you follow the arrow when you turn the corner and walk along this vector you follow the arrow but are so they're following then the third vector is the resultant the third vector to close the triangle is the resultant and it must oppose the arrows as you go around the triangle so if you start, if you turn the corner and walk this way, the direction you walk must op be opposed by these arrows, that by the arrow and the resultant. 
use a double arrow to show that it is the resultant all right so that's the basic concept behind adding two vectors all right so to summarize when you're adding two vectors they you draw them so that they touch each other they follow then the third vector that closes the triangle is called the resultant and the arrow on it must oppose the other two vector and since it forms a triangle it is called the triangle law of vectors All right so that's it for now later on